Here's how I'm supposed to start this one. <clears throat> Eventually, I'm just gonna launch right into this. The devil's gonna lose you eventually, but that's just a matter of time. I am relentless and the prayer of the righteous availeth much. So, <clears throat> what you basically have done, <clears throat> because if you don't know what the battle is, there's no way you can win it. And you, for the last two years, have attempted to fight this battle, the devil, on your own. And you've lost horribly. <clears throat> you've basically exalted yourself against the knowledge of God. And that would put you in the category of evil. You're acting like a narcissist. But you're also drinking a lot more and that's when I just say, okay, that's one of her demons coming out. So telling you the truth about how the heavenly realms work, being taken into the air, there's only a remnant, a few of us. If I was evil, we would get along. We'd still be in Portland. But I prayed for our heavenly father to get us a place outside of there was led path made straight to a hotel that was provided for me had an escort and everything as far as being driven there babe because i am king and a lot of times i've just looked at you who do you think you are in any sense of truth i outrank you so many of the times <clears throat> like you keep talking about the p on the art guy and i was sitting there catching the darts that were coming from him because the devil was in him these are just true facts that have led to this moment there <clears throat> You go into a weird trance. I have had visions. I have had dreams. Walked into your dreams. I'm telling you the truth. You carry out the desires of the devil and you got to learn to stop. There are so many thoughts that you have planted in you that you have to understand are not from God and they're not biblical, and they have nothing to do with me. I am who I say I am. When I was catching your darts, if you would have remained with me or walking with me in the spirit, because you don't understand how that works, I have to put my spirit in you. And then I'm cleaning you up, cleaning out all your darkness. So all those emotions that were in your spirit, I have to battle out of. And I always do. This I've been doing for years, casting out your demons, babe. And then I have all of these personal things that I see happening in the news that I have discussed with my Heavenly Father and been told the truth about. And now what was done in the darkness is brought to light. So you have to make a decision Instead of being led into darkness, you have to be the Lord's handmaiden or you're going to be the devil's handmaiden. Those are your two choices. That is how you ended up this way. And you have to remember when it comes to Mama Bear, I made a promise to her in the new heaven, just like your earthly dad, she would be a little girl. Your earthly dad is a little boy. The new heaven is here, babe. Trying to console you. <clears throat> Only the truth is going to console you. But you have to believe the person that is telling you. I am trained to minister to you.
I was brought into your life a few times and I told you, God says this. When you go into your little trances and I've seen you do it, and you're looking around at things, you're in the devil's hell. I would think you are nuts if it wasn't for your heavenly father assuring me that you're not. And I've delved into your affliction. That's not evil. That's not to hurt you. I know exactly how I feel. I know that I talk about you every single day. I think about you day and night, all day, have dreams about you. I know the truth. I know what it's been like for two years. You have been on the enemy's side. A lot of people received correction because it was needed. They were stuck. They were doing too much that you cannot do in a tribulation and remain spiritually healthy. Our Heavenly Father gave us a strategy that you refused to follow. You are used to darkness. That's what you do. And what you think is real isn't. Because you went out of scripture. I can't make a lie true. <clears throat> Let's confirm. <clears throat> To grant us that we being rescued from the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness being set apart and righteous being upright before him all our days and you child will be called a prophet of the most high for you will go on before the lord the messiah to prepare his ways to give his people the knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins because of the tender mercy of our god with which the sunrise, the Messiah from on high will dawn and visit us to shine upon those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. We've already read that. So your purpose was to help me with my ministry. You put a halt to God's ministry. This is the truth. You can rectify this and that's how you're going to feel better. That's how you're going to get out of your depression. I don't drink all the time. It causes depression eventually. I have plenty of sober time where I take my steps serving our Heavenly Father. And it's like I elevate till I find my peace and joy. My prophets are the only church that's ever been created since 2000 years ago that will openly rebuke people and that's what's been needed to keep them out of the ditch <clears throat> it's a remnant it's my bride the church of christ it is what we have those are the dark times we are in right now we just confirm that in scripture I don't even have your phone number. That's ridiculous. How many times I could have saved you pain and suffering. But it was your willingness to be isolated by the devil that led to your destruction. That's the truth, Mary. You have to first recognize, okay, you had demons. Okay, it's your thoughts that the devil uses against you. But that delusional little world that you're in, that you lie against me, falsely accused me, did all kinds of things that by scripture called me the devil, 
that by scripture I had to respond to. You put yourself into a whole mess when it came to your relationship with the one true God. I am he. Your savior. You have to be willing to do the work to fix your marriage. And that's what's going to make you happy. That's what's going to make all my prodigals happy. I love to love. I don't love to say harsh things. But I use the alcohol sometimes to provide that emotion in my delivery and my voice to evoke the emotion in the other person to get them to stop and listen. I don't like doing it. I have to think about the things I said. Why did I have to say that? Why can't this just be? We're servants of our Heavenly Father. That's what makes us happy. It's a privilege because we get to receive our joy and peace by doing it. And we increase our faith that we have someone looking out for us. And you do, you just received correction. Like a lot of people in my kingdom did. The decisions you were making were decisions that would destroy you spiritually. That's why you kind of were in your own little world with the devil, but you were the only one in that world with the devil. And then of course the devil fears me, so he keeps you away from me. You have to recognize the strategy that's being employed against you. I did not want to talk about demons for two years, but I have to. This is happening to all of my kingdom marriages. I have prophets raising up all the time. Okay, here's what's going on with your prodigal. The parable of the prodigal ends a certain way. That's what's going to happen to all prodigals. A spiritual famine, a storm, your life wasn't built on the rock, it got wiped out. This was known before the beginning of time. I do this every single day. It's all I do. I am constantly at church. The prayer time, the actual waiting for the revelation, not making it up, Mary, or letting the devil make it up because I can't have a demon. And then the discernment, okay, this is what's going on with you. All of that is spiritually draining, mentally draining, and I knew coming into your life it was a trap. But I also knew I would get you out. <clears throat> so there have been times where I may not have thought you were my favorite person, but I never stopped loving you. That's not possible. And you build on that. You're grateful for that. You're who I know you can be instead of letting the devil feed you lies. And you've got to make that choice if you want a life. Because what you did, you dragged us both into your hell. Because my spirit is in you. And then you left us stuck here. So eventually God was going to push you out. And that's what happened. Because he loves you and I love you. <clears throat> You have to take the steps to reconcile your marriage because God told you two years ago, fix your marriage. Don't gamble with your happiness. And I don't know <clears throat> why you have these. 
Well, you're not able to control yourself when you drink. I know that much. <clears throat> the spirits in you come out. So you also have to differentiate when I'm talking to the evil spirits in you versus when I'm talking to my wife. You're going to have to fight. You're going to have to do what God says to be happy. That's standard Christian teaching, Mary. You went way outside the scripture and you weren't right. Nothing you believed was true. So you had to end up in a ditch so that you could see God was not supporting you because of my prayers for you. You are preserved, 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 babe. <clears throat> it's my obedience, it's my steadfast faith, it's my endurance, it's me pointing things out that are saving you. All of this is confirmed from my bloodline to everything I've ever told you. Going on almost 10 years now, the last two being where you finally exceeded God's patience but a lot of prodigals did the evidence is there every single day Mary's daily bread being told specifically Mrs. Montoya Thomas we have enemies this is not the time to be doing the things you are doing, babe. And you got to make things right. I heard that's it. Heard perfect. I love you.